In Python, a nested list, also called a multidimensional list, is when a list element is also another list. And we can access all the elements of a nested list by using nested for loops. Let's take a look at an example of a nested list and also iterate through it using nested for loops. All right, let's create a nested list. So we'll just call it list. And here are the items of the list. We could have five in there. And the second item can actually be another list, 10, 20, 30. And then the third item can be something else, like six. So that's it. That is a nested list where one of the elements, element at index one, is actually another list that contains 10, 20, and 30. Let's print this list out and see what happens. Okay, it's pretty interesting. Let's print out the first element of the list, which we know is just going to be 5. The second element of the list at index 1 is going to be 10, 20, 30. And the third element of the list, index 2, should just be 6. Let's go back to that second element in the list. Let's give it another square bracket. So from that list element, which is also a list, let's add another square bracket and put a zero in there. That should give us the first item in that nested list, which is 10. Change that zero to a one, it'll give us the 20 from the list. Change that one to a two, it'll give us the 30 from the list. Change it to three, we're out of bounds, and we get this index error. So be careful with that. So it's pretty straightforward dealing with nested lists. It's also a little bit easier if you have a multidimensional list or nested list to just have each list on a separate line when you're defining it. Let's just say tic-tac-toe and assign that to, okay. Then inside there we'll have the three elements in there. We could be O, X and O. Here we go. Next one can be X, O, wrong O, and X again. Oops. I'm missing something. Oh, yep, I'm missing the mark and let's make O a winner X X again and then O All right let's print that out print oops print tick tack toe okay, it prints out like that doesn't actually look like a tic tac toe board but we can iterate through it and print each element separately. For row in tic tac toe, print row. Oops, spelled that wrong. All right, there it is. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Get rid of this thing. And here's our tic tac toe game, and you can see we got three O's in a row. O1. And like we saw before, we can actually just manually print each row 0 and 0. Like that. If we didn't want the little brackets and uh, quotation marks around there, we could print the O followed by you know the next item. First row, second column, followed by first row, third column. You can print things out like that too, if we didn't want the brackets and the quotation marks there. And let's just copy this, do it three times, and just change these to one, two, one, two for the second and third row. And run it again, that looks a little bit better, and we could see that O won the game. So 
that's pretty much it for multi-dimensional lists or nested lists. Stay tuned for the next video where we learn about list slicing.